so this one here is part two of um, being careful be careful, being careful about people who don't know how to lose or people who don't know how to accept defeat you know it's very important it's very crucial so and i come here to continue from where i left off yes yesterday now <clears throat> There's some this thing about people who don't know how to accept defeat. People who don't know how to, who are bad losers. People who don't know how to lose. A lot of times, there's always an attempt to take that particular thing that they've lost, but are refusing to accept or they are, they are refusing to acknowledge. A lot of times, if you look at it closely, you realize that there is always an attempt to take that thing by force. Hmm? People who don't know how to accept defeat, when all the lights are showing, they still have a, they, 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 they have a, they have a problem of accepting defeat so that they, they're able to go back to the, to the drawing board. If you've studied closely, if you've watched closely, they always attempt to take that thing by force. So that's what I'm telling you. Keep an eye on people, those who don't know how to accept defeat. I'm not, I'm not saying you should accept defeat when you have been cheated. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I said, take note. Acknowledge. Keep an eye of people who have lost after something, um, anything. All the things indicate, all the lights are flashing that they've lost, but they refuse to accept it. It's a lack of humility. Now, the lack of humility, the lack of humility is a lack of humanity. The lack of humility is a lack of their humanity. Hmm? You know, I can go into the Bible. I'll go into the Bible. I'll give you three examples. I was giving three examples to use to support, you know, this. No creature is wiser than God. Hmm? No human being, no creature whatever area, place, position you think you find yourself, you are not wiser than God. Because God created this planet and set all the laws, intricate laws in place. He set laws for everything, living things, non-living things, even the ants are obeying a certain law. That's how everything gets to work together, hand in hand. Huh? So when there's rainfall, there is sunshine, it's everything is automatic you see god who created this planet and created us even as human beings he knows the importance of humility now take let's let's talk about a man like abraham why did god take so long hmm? he had promised abraham he was going to give him a child he was going to give him this he was going to give him that why he why why did god take all that time he wanted to he wanted abraham to come to a certain point a, le a certain point a certain level of humility because a lot of the things god asked abraham to do he just executed it you know abraham was not somebody who, who wrestled with god no 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 Everything God asked Abraham to do, he just did it. And despite being able to do that, God took some time. You, you know, what, why, why did he do that? To form, to let him come and understand and come to a place and accept that I am a human being. Only God can do it. It's very important. I can take the second example. We can look at a man like David, 
who became King David, who was anointed in his youth. Levi killed Goliath at, at, a, at a very young age. I mean, technically, he should be doing things, bigger things. But there was a, there was a stretch of time. I mean, you've killed Goliath, the man that is terrorizing the whole armies of Israel. And after that, you, go through, you had to go through some, some time of that process, you know? And all of that, God was using it to form humility inside of him. When God is positioning anybody in any place, uh, if he does not form... It, listen... If you, he's not putting you through a process, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't. And if he's not putting you put, through, through a process, then I doubt it's he's the one who is who is taking you to that place. You see, when a lot of people come to God, they, they want things to be instant, all of a sudden. Yes, God uses suddenly, but a lot of times he will take you through a process. I've, I've said it already before. So, King uh, David, who became King David, anointed in his youth by Samuel, he killed Goliath at a very young age. But after that, he, after that, uh, he went through a series and a series and a series and a series of process. For what? For humility to be formed in him. I can bring about the, the next man. Joseph. The same thing. Joseph, God made them sell Joseph as a slave. Yeah? Yeah. They sold him as a slave from his youth. Left, left his homeland. Mm -hmm. No prapra, no dodo, no prapra, no dodo. I hold Joseph <laughs> Whose father has given him hmm? a coat of many colors? Adani Akwa. Adani Akwa wo ubi manso. Why? Because God wanted to form this thing, this this thing, this character of humility inside of him. God wanted to break him down to the basic point before He built him up. The reason why, if you look there onto the world stage, the reason why a lot of people are struggling, suffering, the reason why the world is suffering is because we have people, we put people in leadership who lack humility. But God, when he, dis he decided to choose a king for, to rule over Israel, he took years to form humility in a man before you put the man there. Anybody who wants to lead, if you don't have humility, I'm telling you, go and learn humility. Hmm? Otherwise, your reign is going to be short. Your reign will be short. Anybody who you are, I don't know who, who is watching this, you are eyeing some leadership position, eyeing this, eyeing that, eyeing this. Go and get humility. When you fail at certain things, have, have, the, have that humility to say, let's take a minute, let's go to the drawing board, let's look at this all over again, let's check all. Be able to do that. Very important. And if you have listened to Adolf Hitler's story, when he realized they were, lo they were losing, he did not step back. He decided to press on. That thing you are losing, why are you pressing on? Still pressing on. Hmm? Well, this is part two. I think this is the last part of, yeah. <laughs>